So this man just called his wife be uh, cheating with his best friend in the bathroom and it really went weird. Just know the things that people can do nowadays. It's really weird. We're not going to show the whole of this uh, um, video because of course it's against our YouTube our guidelines but we shall see some. I'm getting in here. Fuck it. You got it So since we're all equal and say you're on a date with a guy and another man comes and tries to like slap your bum, what would you expect your man to do? He should like stick up for it. Why? Now he's putting himself in the firing line. Yeah. But we're equal. Why don't you put yourself in the firing line? <laughs> So you want a top earner to accept a divorcee with three kids. He gets no children from you. And all he gets is the part of your free time for 100% of his monogamy. Does that sound like a fair deal? Yes. Insane. No. Buy a dog and die alone because you keep talking about someone and we already established we weren't going to do that. But see, that's your ego. Now who is going to take you? Are you established yourself? Do you have something? What do you have to give? That's what actually you have to think about all the time when you're going into a relationship. It's not just about a man has to give for me, uh, give me everything that I want. It's not like that. This world is about balance. You need to provide something. Would you rather fight a chicken every time you get in your car? Or would you rather fight a lion once a year? You gotta I'm get back in the car. On. Exactly. Oh, you I, versus I, I, a lion? You have no faith in me. You're really thinking you can beat a lion. I'm gonna try the best I can. <laughs> that doesn't well, matter. No, because my, you might die from a chicken too. Like those pegs. They, yeah, those pegs. Like you <laughs> might hurt yourself. Or they might hurt you. So what are we talking about? Every time you get in the car, boom, boom, chicken. Okay, y'all are grown men. Maybe y'all can fight off a chicken? chicken. Have you fought a chicken? I can't fight. No one can fight off a lion. We're grown men and we said no to the Man, lion. Once a year. I could be training that whole time to fight this lion. Have you ever been to the zoo? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Hey, they don't hold chickens behind glass panes okay, and okay. bars. But you know, like the geese at the ponds, how they chase people? They're not friendly. So what makes you think chicken are, are friendly? I don't care Ashlyn. how friendly it is. It's not a lion. Lion. Okay, some lions can be friendly though. Too. You have to get to the next. You're first. fighting him. You're not taking him to a no. You a have coffee to coffee date. You right know here. what I'll do as soon as I open the door and see a chicken? But it's grab the but chicken. No, your door's you not open. To, you have to get the door you open. Have to get the door open. Is a chicken preventing me okay, from opening a door? Like if I try to fight a lion with <laughs> unarmed bare hand, I lose. There's no scenario where I that. beat the lion. Y'all are saying what chickens have y'all seen before? Chickens are crazy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. You are. You're trying to fight the king of the jungle. <laughs> this is you a know, lion. I'm a Leo. Oh Let God. me not even get into that. Yeah. Did you say you're Leo? Oh my God. <laughs> She didn't watch last week's. What, are you going to connect with the lion yes, and be like, don't yes. kill me? Because they're both loyal people. Anywho, um, have you been in a chicken? Is 300 pound pickup. You think you could pick up 300 pounds? 300 pounds? For $100. Weights? Like weights? For $100. Me. You? Me. I could try. For $100 right now. You can keep the money. I'll try those. All right, come on, pick me up. Now nah, I'm going to give you $100 and you can pick me up. I would pick up like a baby or like like no, put me over your shoulder. Oh hell no! You see how skinny I am? <laughs> Can we talk about the man that lost everything while she didn't? Simply because their relationship ended and he was the man. He had to deal with feeling inferior, but he did it with the understanding that life is never going to be fair. That man. 
Biden is never going to put himself in that position again. You are literally so much taller than I thought you would be. cool man i've been having a cool little week uh i ran into my mom's ex-boyfriend the other day yeah he's doing really good man he uh he was right we we were holding him back he dresses so much nicer he got a car now i approached him i had to i said dude if this is what getting away from my mom looks like i'm ready bro <laughs> That's the one dude that broke up with my mom. Every dude she dated, she would dump them. But I remember the day he broke up with her. I was 10 years old, he's walking out the house. I was like, he is going places. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Who are you? Who is she? Can we not do this right now? Who is this girl? I literally just got off the phone to you and you told me that I know, you're- I know, I know it looks bad. No, it, it doesn't look bad, it is bad. You told me you had a fire drill. Who is this girl? You left this morning for work? That is my necklace. Who is this girl? I'm not interested in any of this. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. Who is she? I know, I know, look, I know it looks bad, but I promise I'm not cheating. Why are so many guys single today? Because they suck. Dude, the average guy is this shit. I see these guys all over my feed. It's just these Oh, alpha male influencers that shit on other dudes for not living up to this hyper competitive discipline that you preach. Like, yo, I, look, I'm an average guy, okay? I'm not waking up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm not eating raw animal testicles and I'm not buying rental properties for passive income. I'm just an average guy. I'm good enough. That should be enough, right? Yeah, sometimes I get takeout too much. Sometimes, you know, I pack a dip on the toilet and I've sat there too long and my leg falls asleep. That's fine. All average guys need is community. They need people that listen to them and love them and understand them for who they are. And then that will push them to higher levels of, you know, a fulfilled life. Not someone like you telling them they're not good enough and they suck, okay? Buddy, you suck. You got the dump in your pants. Go get a spoon and eat my ass. Man who's making $350,000 makes a million dollars in three years. Why do you need a man who's making that kind of money? It's for the future of my kids. Lineage. Then why didn't you focus on getting married when you were younger and lighter? I did focus on that. But it fell through. Correct. Why? We just, I mean, after the proposal, we just didn't see eye to eye. What does that I mean? Say. I mean, just on certain... All right, I got other people coming in. Uh, I'm trying to get the BS vibes, ma'am. Um, and I don't feel okay. like doing this with you. At the end of the day, if you were engaged to somebody who had all this money and it didn't work out, who broke off the engagement? He, I broke off the engagement. You broke it off. There you go. Yeah, that's... My fault. But I, I bullshit. I like for you to undermine other men in terms of uh, being average. People work and they have their levels. They understand what they have to do. They understand every level that they have to pass to reach a certain level. Even a rich one, they're not just from nowhere. Boom. Unless you're first born in, in a perfect family where richness is there. But if you're just this person who's grinding everything up, Would you rather kiss me for a hundred dollars or the prettiest girl you know for seven hundred dollars? I'd rather kiss you. Money. I'm not the prettiest girl you know. We got like twelve mirrors in the house. Ready? Right? Never thought about checking. Zero bits. Zero bits. Zero bits. Yes, Zero would be high Look number for this guy. <laughs> say, say hi guys. Hi guys. Say it. Say it. Say it. And what's about what Wait, about this your one? sister? <laughs> you no, this is your sister. You should recognize the voice. If you say... That one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. <laughs> woman. Hey, are you assuming my gender? <laughs> I know for a fact that you're a woman. Maybe I identify as a man. Now. Maybe I identify as a man now. You're not a man. Why? You can't even fucking drive. <laughs> Speak up, spit it out. Let, let me hear what you gotta say. Because you got the wrong one get today. Out. Get the f out at this point, girl. Get the f out. I thought I could put up with your f but I. New York model dating a big time lawyer is heated. After he told her to get her own Uber, says she needs to be treated like a nine. 
I went on a date with a guy last week and it was a good date. We had a fun time together. He's a big time lawyer. He owns three to four cars. He's doing really well in life. You guys know I'm a model. I'm new to the city. Transplant. Don't even have a car yet. Like I expect my date to either pick me up or Uber me to the date. You're asking me on a date. I expect to be taken care of. Okay, keep your standards high. That's all I gotta say. Asking people why they work out. Excuse me, why do you work out? So I don't stuff. Okay. Oh my fucking goodness. Yo. Yo. Hey. How many countries in the UK? She's creasing. I can't lie, I don't know. Just guess. <clears throat> I have no idea. It's Egypt, Spain, England, and Northern Ireland. Egypt? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. What continent is Egypt in? Because I was clearly joking. Um. Wait! <laughs> is it Asia? Asia. Egypt's in Asia! Oh Asia. my goodness. What school did you go to? I went EGA. Don't go to that school, that's all I know. That's a red flag right there, bruv. That's a red flag right there, bruv.